to Nancy when she's got yarn. I'm just taking a cruise. I'm going to Walmart. Um, I um, want to look for, well, first off, I had taken out my material. I was going to attempt to make a bag. Oh, no, there's red construction up ahead. But anyways, I don't have red thread. So I'm going to get thread. Um, I think I'm going to attempt to make a bag. I'm going to make a simple bag. I, I might box the corners, but it's only going to be out of one material. I'd like to do one with, you know, two materials, like on the bottom and then change it up on the top, but uh, let's take baby steps because I got to line it and I just want to make a lightweight bag and to go with the upcoming holiday, Valentine's Day. I uh, crocheted, well, I'm, I'm not done with it. I've been crocheting a project bag out of cotton, extra large cotton. It's, it's Premier Cotton Fair, I think it's called. It's uh, number, I think it's number five, maybe a six, but I was making a project bag out of it. Not a basket, but a project bag. Um, and it kind of looks more like Christmas than Valentine's, so I may, I may start over and keep it for Christmas time and then just make another one because it's pretty simple. Just go in the round and increase. Increase till it gets as big as you want. It was only about that big. Enough for, you know, a small project. And I did half double crochets all the way up. And then when I got to where I wanted to weave in the rope to cinch it, um, I went every three stitches. I, I skipped a stitch and chain to give it a little window to, to thread. And then on the top, I was doing pink. And I just, I did too much red. So it's not balanced, balanced out to me. I did about this much red and about this much white. And I was going to do the very top pink. It just didn't look right. Then I tried pink and white together. It still didn't look right. So I'm going to just leave it red and white. I'm going to probably trim it out in red. I mean, it still could be Valentine's. But I don't know. It looks Christmassy to me. But, but I figured I would attempt to try to make a bag. my brain on knitting yesterday. I should say last night. I do have a hat to complete. Which shouldn't take any time. I've got my yarn picked out. And that hat actually is a, it's a cool hat that um, Crystal for Bag of Day made. Um, for breast cancer awareness. I don't know if it was last year or the year before, but it was in a beautiful pink. And the pictures of her were beautiful. I don't know. They, they look almost professionally taken, but yeah, that hat looks really good on her. Um, I know she doesn't like compliments like that. I, I never realized that until one day I... I I don't know. I finally clicked. I'm like, she didn't like that. So, but I mean, what I say, um, I'm gonna try to find that color in my stash. I don't think I have that color, but I do have a fuchsia that's close to it. Maybe a little green. I'm gonna probably do it later um, on my Hatapalooza because I'm gonna do other things working on a Valentine's bag that looks Christmassy. <laughs> or
working on I cut material out I wanted to make so a project bag I don't have a red thread um, um, but I'm headed to Walmart to see what they have I'm not gonna lie there's some enablers that went to Walmart <laughs> this weekend I stayed home all weekend. I was a sorry dog all weekend. All I did was knit and crochet, nothing else. Like, I didn't even cook my own meals. They were microwaved, yeah. I ate eclairs. I <laughs> like really good ones from Publix. Old fashioned eclairs. I ate, I ate two. I bought four. Somebody ate the other two. <laughs> Yeah, my husband that has high sugar and yeah, he has the biggest sweet tooth and he like worries about potato chips and soda, but he, he eats tiramisu, uh, strawberry shortcake, he loves cheesecake from Publix with the strawberry and <laughs> oh goodness, goodness, oh goodness, here comes this kitty going to don't run in, no, don't run in, in front of me. Yeah, you freaked me out a little bit there, kiddo. Um, where was I? <laughs> this kid was like, I thought he was going to run out in front of me. He was running towards the road and ran out in the middle of the median and then he stopped. Anyways, Headed to Walmart. Yes, we have some enablers out there on YouTube that went to Walmart this weekend. But I'm not going to hit the iron section. I'm going to hit the sewing section. I have every yarn that Walmart carries. My Walmart carries. Yeah, in my stash. That's how sorry my Walmart is. I've had everything for over a year. It's sad. I might not have some of the mainstay colors, but I think I do. Because I bought a bunch when they had the big skeins of gray, red, all that. Because I have, I'm also making a hat this month um, for Black History Month. I'm going to make the Jamaican colors, Afri I guess African and Jamaica colors, the red, green, yellow, and black. I'm going to make a, as this gentleman said, make me a Rastamal hat. He's from Jamaica. <laughs> and uh, I told him I'd make him a hat. So, And then Seta's calendar was not like that, not the perfect <laughs> uh, picture. I've, this year's the first time I've done Seta's um, calendar. It's just because I've been busy with other things. Um, I also want to try to make um, Pamela with a Dorian Crochet. I think her sister, I don't know if it's her or her sister, but they have a Valentine's um, basket. Um, I don't know if they have a pattern, but I, I know the pattern. Um, but I'm going to make a basket too. I'm going to try something that I can whip up quick. Um, what else? Things that are not on my schedule. Yeah, that's, that's me. But these are things, if I get to them, I get to them. If I don't, I don't. But I, I'm not putting them on my schedule. Um, other than Seta's. Because she's on my calendar, my plan, my goal, my my planner. Um, I do have a few uh, boggy blankets that I'm just making squares and squares and squares. Um, I, I'm making a blanket for it's raining yards granddaughter. I made the blanket, but then got to looking at it and I'm like, you know what? It's too, it's not white. It was 
like long, but it was not wide enough. I didn't like how wide it was. Even though I put a few rounds on the border, I'm holding two yarns together. So I went ahead and made three more squares and I got those attached. I finally got a chance to attach those. One day she'll get that blanket. <laughs> um, but yeah, I got it together. Now I just need to trim it out. And I, um, I have some really pretty pink I'm going to trim it out with. Yep. So, but I'm so glad I got it together. And I don't know why. Th throughout the whole Boggy Creek thing, I was putting squares together. I was doing fine. Join as you go. And it's like I forgot it. I, I'm, it's like I do it and then I have to undo it and do it undo it. And, uh, anyways, I got it. <laughs> Perfect, but I got it done. Like I found where I did three granny clusters in one thing in a corner. And I'm like, what was I thinking? So I had to rip that back. Do a lot of ripping. And I, I hope I'm not alone. <laughs> Okay, it would help if I turned my camera on. <laughs> I just got a phone call from Billy, the Crafty Floridian. I love you, Billy. She just called me to give me some tips on knitting. She told me, she says, you know the panel that you're doing? She says, you can do both panels on the same knitting needles. Just use different hanks of yarn. Oh, I never knew that. That is so awesome. So I can't wait. I'm right now I'm headed into Wally World, <laughs> Walmart, um, and I'm not going to the yarn section. But I wanted to share that with you guys. I, she thought of me. She was watching my videos. I love you, Billy. All right, I need to go to Walmart. I need to get some thread. Yeah, I'm avoiding the yarn section. Uh, they have nothing in there that that I don't already have. <laughs> All right, love. You. Hey everyone, I'm back. This shirt was the last one, and it was meant for me. Yes. My dog, I need an S. My dogs are, my dogs is my Valentine's. I, I have some white puff st stuff. But yeah, yeah. No, I'm gonna leave it. But isn't that cute? My dog is my Valentine. Yay. That saw me coming. Okay. Then I got, I always get Irish um, for St. Patty's Day. This one says, Lucky and Blessed. Is that not stinking cute? And did I do this too fast? I've been told I need to slow down when I show stuff. My dog is my Valentine. And it's only got three paws. So that must be Archer. <laughs> <laughs> and I didn't just buy one. I had to buy two. Then I bought a Nickelodeon shirt. Is that not stinking cute? SpongeBob SquarePants! I love SpongeBob. <laughs> they were only like seven bucks. And then I got this one. This is the avatar. I don't know. I like the colors. So that was eight bucks. That is nine dollars. Eight ninety-eight. What happened to eight ninety-nine? So and then what I came here for is. <laughs> Not yarn. Um, I got thread. Seemed like pretty strong thread. So, all right. Then I got some hair. This is heat protection spray. There's some stuff. It's called Shine by um, 
Aussie that I got in South Carolina. I can't find it in Florida. What's up with that? <sighs> so annoying. I always put this in my hair. It gives me some volume. It says instant freeze, but it doesn't freeze. Not in my hair. I got some super potent active refresh deodorant. I have man pits, so I have to wear strong deodorant. Genetics. All right. I bought this Spin Pop Slim Grip Phone Grip. I didn't buy it for me, but I bought it maybe a gift down the road. If I don't put it away and forget where I put it, right? Then I got a pair of scissors for my hair. I'm tired of somebody stealing my scissors in the bathroom. So, and then I got me a little grip for my phone. And then I got into trouble. This was on clearance. It's, some people think it's ugly, but it's a John Deere pattern. But it was $2.99. $2.99. Everybody loves John Deere. In my neck of the woods, they do. So, there's like, how many yards? I don't know. But it was, I thought it was $2. It was $7. They got me. I'm just dyslexic. Two yards. So that ain't bad. I got some black fabric. It's cotton. It's poly cotton. 72 by 44 inches. I think I still have some of that at the house. I got some chili peppers. All right. And then I got some of these. They were only $1.50. So I got one, two, three, four, five, six. So six dollars and then four times six, so six, seven, eight dollars and like fifty cents or something. And then I got these two for me. Puppy dog. You see the bone? And puppy paws. Why is it washing out? There we go. Yeah. So I have to do that. Isn't that cute? Puppy paws. And then I got gray. Like a gray. To go inside the bag. To line it with. Yep. And then something I'm going to try. It's a magnet. I got two of them. I got one to hang around my neck. And this one is going to go over there where I do tutorials. Uh, where I do my my videos but, and it's got a light and it's got a stand that's what it looks like that's what it looks like so yeah <laughs> so, gonna try that and then I got one it's in the back it it goes around my neck and it, it it was like I think this was 20 bucks okay so where does this clip go huh? I don't know oh the clip I guess goes Somewhere. Somewhere. It screws into something. I have to read some directions. Oh. This has a stand or you can clamp it. Little beans. I need to go get something to eat. I better get my tail to Publix. So I can clamp this to my music stand. clamp it to my steering wheel. Well, no, I can't clamp it to my steering wheel, but you get the gist of it. <laughs> yeah, that'll go around my pole perfect. 
Yeah. And it's got a light. But, let's see. Oh my goodness. I need a screwdriver and I don't have a screwdriver that small. <laughs> I do. I just don't know where it is. Anyways, so I got some magnifying glasses for my blind butt. <laughs> so that is everything. I came to Walmart for this and I ended up with all this other stuff. And I'm going to get dinner. Dinner, dinner, dinner. Oh, yeah. these scissors. And I got like a little cover. I wonder. All right, guys. I love you guys. I'll see you later. Hey, y'all. I'm just now headed home. It's getting dark. It's 6.30 and it's dark. Yeah. I picked up some New York pizza. We have the best pizza place in Alachua. My husband... He ordered for the first time, um, I went last week, week before last, I think it was, um, it might have been last week. He ordered a gluten-free pizza with every meat they have on top of it, right? So it's like, I opened it up and it's this scrawny, like skinny crust, like no volume to the pizza except the meat on top. But anyways, I thought... That's scrawny. Good thing I'm not eating it because I'd eat the whole thing, right? And it was like a $20 pizza. So anyways, um, my husband comes in the yard room and he goes, Dear, that was the best pizza I have ever eaten in my life. I said, what? He goes, I'm dead serious. He said, none of that, all that wasted bread. He said it was like, to the point, the best tasting pizza ever. <laughs> so I called him and told him. But they kind of screwed up my order. They, um, I, I used their um, their app instead of calling. And it's, it, it goes down the line, you know, like pepperoni, mushroom, da 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 da. And then it said garlic and I thought, that was like garlic bread. Anyways, somebody put, I swear I picked two cloves of garlic, I mean big cloves of garlic out of it raw. It was disgusting. I called him and I said, don't ever do that. I said, they didn't, like it wasn't grated garlic. It wasn't sauteed garlic. This was like raw giant chunks. And I said, and I, I, I said, I saved them for you. I said, if I eat this, I will never eat at your restaurant again. That's how gross, how overwhelming, you know, too much of something is. Anyways, they, they redid it. And, I, you know, I just told them, I said, I don't know. I said I should have paid more attention to what it said. But I interpreted that it was like garlic bread. You know? But, no, it was like <laughs> giant clothes. They just like, they weren't even chopped thin. Chunks. Like little toenails. Hundreds of them. Ugh. I like garlic. I wish I had some garlic rolls. But anyways, I got a calzone tonight. And it's got ricotta, extra pepperoni, and it's got mushrooms. They have the best calzone. Without garlic. <laughs> Yes, I did my running for everybody too. Before I got home, I had to pick this up, pick that up. So now I'm just, I'm hungry. I'm hungry. And I want to finish a Valentine bag. I don't know. I may restart it.
I also bought something big. I bought a new sewing machine. Yep, yep, yep. Because I don't like the one I bought. The one I bought was used and I don't know, something's wrong with it. Whether it needs to be oiled, I, I don't know. There's no warranty with it. This one I bought does some fancy stitching too. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I just hope I can figure it out. If it's like a cricket, I'm gonna I'm gonna scream. I mean, I've got the cricket figured out, but <laughs> I just I didn't realize you you put an adhesive over what you make and then stick it. I was like peeling it piece by piece, putting letters on a mug <laughs> for Christmas. Needless to say, all those mugs, I think that, I don't think they have anything left on them. Everybody still has their mugs because I bought nice mugs. And I put like Nini and Peepaw and my um, grandkids call my mom Nini Nee Sue. And uh, my dad, this is a term of endearment. My dad, when the kids were little, he would come in my house and go, we're the little creeps. And so when they got bigger, they called him the big creep and it has stuck. So when they sign a car, I love you big creep. Well, I had a, I had a, I had a cup made big, the big creep. And he loves it when those kids call him the big creep. <laughs> my family's warped. <laughs> All right. I'm home. I'll see y'all later. See. You got a peaty sweater on. You want up? Get up there. Get up there. Come on. I'll help you get up. Oh, I'm all wrapped up. All right. You're so peaty. Yes, you are. Let me see. You're so beautiful. Excuse me. You're so beautiful. You gonna model it for me? I see Archie so beautiful. You hush. You hush. I wish I crocheted fast. I'd have it made for all of you. But I created this. I made this pattern all by myself. So, and I, I did write down the pattern. I've got it in small dog and now in Archie size. Yes. I need to do underneath the belly up closer in the chest area and make this up here so his wiener is covered. What? You want num num? Let's see, what do we have? You guys stop it. Knocking stuff down. Alright, here we go. Slow down. Slow down. Slow down. Come on. Need to just slow down. No, 